already asked uh, uh, the Indian government, specifically Prime Minister, that look, you come, you come one step towards us, we'll come two steps towards you. Uh, two nuclear armed countries cannot think of war. They should not even think of Cold War because Cold War can turn hot at any stage and you do not take a chance when two countries have nuclear bombs. So the only other option is to solve your issues through dialogue. Unfortunately, we have not been, we have been rebuffed so far by, by India. And I feel the reason is the Indian elections in April. And since the elections are coming in, I feel that this anti-Pakistan rhetoric gets votes uh, to BJP, which is Narendra Modi's party. And I, I have to say that uh, I'm disappointed. But, but again, I reiterate, two nuclear-armed countries should never think of sorting out the differences through war. It's suicide. And um, we will keep trying. The problem at the moment is also Kashmir. Apart from the Indian elections, it's Kashmir. Now, in Kashmir, the Indian brutality in the last year has, has just been mind-boggling. They have been killing, uh, shooting at boys, blinding them with pellet guns. They have killed, I don't know, about 500 people in a year. And all they're doing is they're alienating the people of the Kashmir Valley. And, and also this, this hatred against the Indian, because when they kill people, there's a reaction. So what India is doing is it's palming off this reaction on Pakistan, whereas now everyone recognizes, even the United Nations, they recognize that now it is an indigenous struggle. And the solution does not lie in brutality of your security forces. Solution lies in dialogue and... And there is a solution there, but it is not with violence.